What's up guys, Power Wang Z here, and today we're going to be doing another unboxing video. This time we are going to be doing Watch Gang's Black Tier for the month of November. So I've got that sitting right here in front of me in my hot little hand. I'm ready to open it up. Uh, let's go ahead and dig right in and see what we get. Um, I've already peeled the tape off just because it had my address on it and I couldn't get all that crap off without peeling the tape. So I have not seen this. I haven't looked at it. Well, this is all a new experience for me as well. Um, so we're going to Google everything and we're going to eBay and see how much all of this is, whatever's in here is worth. Uh, so let's go ahead and get it open and see what's inside. Um, so, you know, nice little watch gang box and a uh, number there. I don't know what that means. Maybe it's a specific package or maybe it's my customer number. I don't know. Um, I don't know what it means. <clears throat> um, I don't know what that means. So we're going to go ahead and get it opened up here. So let's go ahead and flip it up and take a look inside and see what we've got. So you've got your normal watch gang cards. So they're kind of stuck in there, so let's go ahead and get that pulled out. So you got a watch gang card, uh, and that's just the November 2017th original. Post a wrist shot on Instagram or Facebook and tag us for a chance to win a free month of platinum. Same as before. Um, so that's their kind of thing they do. So you get a chance to win platinum. Uh, if you tag them in what you uh, in your wrist shot um, today's wrist check we're just gonna quick show off I am wearing my uh, citizen I'm wearing my calendar ear, um, so I just got that recently and uh, post a wrist shot for watch gang platinum so it's just another card to go with that I can't remember what the last one said but this one says original this one says centum November 2017 so you can see that there so that's the cards that come with it. Inside we've got a plain white box. So let's go ahead and pop this open. It is in just a little slip case here. Um, so we're gonna go ahead and open this up. Slide that out. Time Force is today's watch. So let's go ahead and pull this guy out. I don't know what Time Force is. I've never heard of the brand. Um, so let's go ahead and pull this out. We'll take a look. Um, so it's a rubber, feels like a rubber strap. It's got a pillow around it. Um, to be honest, I don't know if I like this one. Um, it is another automatic. It is a cool looking watch. I definitely don't like the band on it. I'm not a rubber guy on my bands. Um, so this is a Time Force watch. It is cool. It's got an automatic movement. Um, I don't know who makes this movement. I can see in just a second here. Um, but there it is. There is the time force, and it's a little hard to see on that cam, so let's just keep it down to this one. Um, so there's the time force. So it looks like a decently nice watch. I'm getting a little bit of glare, I think, because of the plastic piece off. I'm not going to peel that off quite yet because I don't know anything about this watch. It's got a uh, flexible rubber band here. Let's see, copy or erase your design. Um, unfortunately, it does not say who makes the movement. All in all, it looks like a decent watch. I'm not as impressed with this month as I am with the previous month. Um, I think partially because it's the rubber band. Um, partially, to be honest, this thing does not feel quite as nice. The pillow looks like uh, it's a faux. Um, the pillow that it comes in, it's a faux leather. Um, just stuffed with literally stuffed animal uh, part um, so that's not very quality there's no manual there's no booklet inside of it um, and it is a plain black face uh, the complication that you have is you have a date complication um, it does not look like the hands glow it doesn't look like the numbers glow um, so overall not too incredibly impressed with month number two. This is November. There are multiple watches that go out So I'm gonna get on the exchange and see what we can get for this um, But let's quick find out uh, About this watch. Let's see if we can find anything on Google about this guy um, So let me go ahead and get logged in here All right, so we're gonna go ahead and just take a look. We're gonna look up this watch and see what the value is um, on this guy, what they're going for. One, from their website, so what their MSRP is. Um, and then two, we're going to look up and see what the um, 
what the eBay value is. So time force watch. So timeforcewatch.com. So nice and easy website. Select continent. Um, well, neither of those is me, so I guess we get, uh, we'll take Europe. All right, so when we get onto their website, Their website is actually fairly nice for their watch. So you get the option of selecting two countries, either in Latin America or Europe. Um, so it is a company out of Spain, I would guess. Based on the fact that it comes up with Latin America or Europe, I'm gonna go ahead and click. They've also got a UK flag down below. So I'm gonna go ahead and click that. That's I don't wanna end up on a Spanish page because <laughs> I don't read Spanish super well. Um, but let's go ahead and take a look. So they've got uh, a couple of links here. Um, so collections, ladies or gentlemen, obviously gentlemen's. Um, so we're gonna scroll through and see if we can find this guy. Um, all of their watches do look pretty decent. Um, there are some ones that I would pref would have preferred to get out of the collection that they have. Um, and to be fair, I do not see this guy on there anywhere. So right just on their basic site, I do not see it. All of their watches that are on here are way nicer than this one. So Time Force, I'm really disappointed with you guys. That one is kind of close, but not really. So I really am having a hard time finding what this is. So I'm gonna go see, let's head over to the Facebook group for Watch Gang and see what, um, see if anybody else can identify what this guy is. All right, so I did some digging and I could not find almost anything on this watch at all, um, except for that it's a time force. Um, beyond that, it is a time force. I don't know anything about it besides that it's an automatic movement. Uh, it comes with a silicone band. Um, it's a decently nice watch. I mean, it does look like it's well made. Um, it is definitely not my style. I do not uh, like the face per se. I don't particularly like that it is a fake um, dive. It's a fake diver basically because um, the outer ring doesn't move at all. Um, not really too impressed. For the first month, I was really impressed. I got a really nice Armand Bossy watch with an automatic movement that's by Seiko. This thing, I don't know who the movement's by. Time Force, but I can't find anything about that number. I can't find anything at all, basically, about this watch on their website. The only thing I can find is I can find the other ones, I think, from watch gang members that have popped up for about 100 and 150 bucks. So if I sell this, I'm basically just going to make back my money um, and get the next month. Um, honestly, if this is what comes next month, next month might be my last month. I was really excited for this, um, and now I'm really not. Um, so we're going to go ahead and take off the calendar. Um, and just for a comparison, here it is side by side with my calendar. Uh, it is just about the same size. Um, the calendar is much more comfortable on my wrist. I think it's gonna be, um, I like metal bands a lot more. We'll go ahead and try this guy on. So let's go ahead and just uh, get this guy on my wrist here really quick. Um, okay, so the band actually doesn't feel too bad, but um, I think I'm gonna move rubber, honestly, or silicone bands down to be my bottom uh, choice because I just don't like them. I think they're um, ugly. Uh, the watch isn't too, and too incredibly ugly on my wrist um, but honestly if I kept this thing I would um, toss this band super fast um, and just get rid of that so it is a nice watch um, just not my style so we're gonna go ahead and put this up on the exchange see if we can either get something or get some cash for it there is month number two of my watch gang subscription uh, month number one was an Armand Bossy. So we'll do at three months, we'll do a cumulative review and decide if we're going to continue with the service or if we're just going to can and say forget it. Uh, 
but at least the first watch I got was pretty spectacular, um, and I was super pumped about it. Um, this watch, not so excited about, so we'll go ahead and box it back up and get it ready to um, trade out, but that is our November watch, Gang Watch. Uh, it is a Time Force, and just anyone who's interested in the number, it's Time Force, the movement, uh, there's an ID code here on the movement, it's TF slash A5020, M as in Michael, dash zero one. So that's the ID that we see on the back of the movement here. Uh, probably can't get a great image of it, but it is an open, it is transparent uh, case back on this one, so you can see the movement again. Uh, it's a little easier to show it, that's the nice thing on here. Um, but not really my style, so we'll go ahead and get it up for sale and or trade and see what we get. So, all right guys, peace.